Hi everyone, Papa here. And Kay and Kai. And today's episode is going to feature highlights of our recent trip to Washington, D.C. This is part one, travel and sightseeing. Here's Mommy, the dogs, and Kate and Kai in the car as we're heading out. Here we're getting ready to leave Ohio. What was the first state we went into? Do you remember what state's coming up, Kate and Kai? Uh, Virginia. Well, we'll see it in just a minute. Virginia is the end of the trip before we got into Washington, D.C. Here it comes, West Virginia. So you were partly right. I was, it was close. Yeah, West Virginia. And then what was next? Do you remember? East Virginia. Not East Virginia, but can you read the sign? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. That's right. And then back to West Virginia. We were only in Pennsylvania for just a short while and then dipped back to West so Virginia. And what's coming now? Do you remember what was next? Uh, no. uh, Can you read it yet? Maryland. Maryland. Says you are here and it shows you what you can see pictures okay. of. Civil War trail. And then in Maryland, we stopped at this rest area that had a scenic area. We went up and looked at the area. You and Mommy and Mima and the dogs have gone on ahead. Here I am, following along behind you, running up this path to catch up with you. You had about a five or six minute head start on me. And as I'm going up here, you see the hillside in the background. What was your impression at this point of the scenic overlook? It was good. What did you think of it? It wasn't that bad. I mean, it, it was a good view. Very impressive. And... The scenic overlook took us over the highway as well. And now I'm catching up to all of you. There you are. Here I come. Have you ever walked on a bridge over a highway before? No. What was your impression of that? What did you think? It was good. I mean, obviously, I mean, it's been a while since I've been on a bridge in general. It was very impressive. The I got Hi, Kaden. Side cramp halfway. Oh, uh, did you? I, I got a, I got a, I got a food side cramp from all the McDonald's. Yeah. Animals. Like halfway up there. Oh, Kaden. Kaden. Hi. Yeah. Like, but like, every day I'm here. It's pretty wild that we're walking across the highway, Kaden. We can. Well, Kaden and I will go up. Mommy, I want you to go up. Hear all the vehicles in the background zooming past on the highway. And here's a 360 degree panning shot of what we were seeing. It was a beautiful day. It was warm, sunny. Late springtime, so everything is nice and green. And this road was cut right through this mountain pass area. That's impressive too, isn't it? Yeah. You had been saying you've got a stitch in your side from going up that path because we had just eaten lunch at McDonald's on the way. But that was not a good side cramp. <laughs> and there you are running yeah, but I don't ahead like and cross over. Oh, I'll take him. I got it. Yeah, wait, wait, I don't have it. Okay. Wrap that around my hand, please. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Wrap, wrap the extra around my hand. Or don't. Okay. Oh, I did. <laughs> That's I, I just took control of Koakai 
from Mima. There he is. We're going down the steps. So this Caden, is wait the for side us, please. Opposite from where we parked. And this is some type of a welcome center or visitor center. I mean, it was obviously closed. It turned out that it was closed. We tried the doors, though, a couple of times. Yeah. Is it closed? It's closed. Put it um, That's okay. Is the door open? Okay. Well, are we going across to look at, or we're just going back? Yeah, you. Yeah, you and I can go up the stairs, Kaden. Kaden, wait for me, please. Boy, cool guy. Okay. Good boy. Heel. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen. There's a long set of stairs on the side there. I have given Koakai back to Mima. You hear that I'm counting the stairs. There you are. I was just a dot. You were a dot off in the distance. You were running up those stairs, weren't you? Just a white dot. What was your impression of the stairs? It you... was tiling. It was It was definitely very tiling, but it was also a great view. It was a great view. I had fun going up there. You remember how many stairs there were? No, but obviously you remember. Well, I counted them, so you'll hear me say it here in just a minute as we get to the tops, as I get to the top and join you. 81 steps. How was it to climb them? I, my side camp is not heavy. <laughs> Oh, did he? This view is amazing. What do you, Kaden? What do you think of this view? I like it. Yeah? Oh, my God. Have you ever seen a view like this before? No. No. Pretty impressive, isn't it? All right. Well, we're about five and a half to six hours into our journey from Ohio to Virginia. We stopped here at this rest area in Maryland for a pit stop and a scenic view. I think it was well worth the stop. And Mommy and Mima have already headed back along with Hanalei and Koakai. Hey, Papa. Let's catch up with Mommy and Mila. We gotta go. We gotta catch up with you and Mommy. And off you go on your quest to catch up with them. What, what, what the yellow, over, what the white short kid said, the side camp was not happy. <laughs> the side camp was not happy. No, but you were moving pretty quickly with the side camp. I was holding it in. They were like half, they were already past the whole entire foot. So we had to like really go. But yep, there I go. Just a little tiny speck of white. Once again, beating me down, just like you beat me up the steps, beating now down gonna before beat, me. Now I'm going to beat you even more, going down the whole entire bridge, oh my gosh, all these 
I'm halfway down the bridge. You're running fast. And you're doing your best. There you go, off into the distance, rounding the corner. I was okay with you going down and out of sight since I knew they were just up ahead and catching up to them. If there were just the two of us out there, I wouldn't have wanted you getting that far ahead. You still hear the traffic going. Here I am rounding the corner, coming back down the path. I can barely even see me. I know, you're up there already. Mission accomplished. You caught up with Mommy and Mima and the dogs. Lots of pine cones on that tree. Papa, that's a that's that's a ginormous jug of water. Oh yeah. Well, that was a nice excursion. I'm glad we stopped. And then we got back on the road. And what was the final state we went into? Virginia. Virginia. I can't even focus on the train track. found they do a good job of keeping the metro trains and buses clean around here. Kaden, look, we're passing another train. Thank you,
We are. During work days, this train right now would be really crowded. People, sometimes all the seats are filled and people are standing holding on to the bars. It is a fun experience. Kate, in that road you see there, tomorrow when we drive into DC, we'll be on that road, so you'll see these metro trains from the outside. What do you mean drive in? We're gonna drive the car into DC tomorrow. Today we're taking the metro train, tomorrow we're driving. So those cars that are passing us and seeing the train, that'll be us tomorrow. Why do you think we're slowing down? We're going to our next stop. Yes, next stop. Okay, can you remember the skyscrapers we saw from way off in the distance? Yeah. This is Tyson. Nice. See the tall See the tall building on this side, Caden? This is Tyson's Wow! That's a tall building! Well, it's not coming out of the left. Okay, We're not getting off yet, Kaden. Already at the next station. Wow. Yeah. That was in This place is new. Queens I've, I've never heard of this. Yeah, as we get closer in to DC, the stations are closer together. We were way out there in the suburbs, and so it took a long time to get from there to here. I'm holding on. The next one is Tyson's. This is a silver line train to Largo, but more. Where do you want to get off? Where do you want to get off? Yeah, we got quite a ways. I know. You just like the name. Oh, Caden. We're underground. Wow. I feel like it's going light speed. You feel like what? Like Star Wars? Yeah. Well, the blue lights somewhere. Yeah. There's like a blue light back there. Like a Wakanda? Are you a Wakanda? And in some area, areas, there are full stores and apartments all underground and accessible from the metro. Yeah, there's stops underground. There goes another train, Caden. It's, not, it's a kind of 
It's a walkway bridge like the one we walked across to get here on this train. is this, Kaden? the metro card so we can each get out to the Caden, turnstile. Caden, no, Caden. Okay. Go through that one. And now we're heading out. I did board more escalators. Stay to the right in case people want to pass. There are some metro stops where the escalators are even taller. When you had three sets of escalators, what do you think of these all escalators? Caden, wait. Cool. Go to the middle one. Go to the middle one. Sunshine, we're almost out. Looks like we're just going into the abyss of lightness. <laughs> oh, wow. Katie, we're in Washington, D.C. Yeah. now. <laughs> Here comes Mommy. And now we're all up out of the Metro train station. Here's a map. There's a food court. We're just orienting ourselves, figuring out where we want to go first. We are right here. We are right here. American history, natural history. We need to Basically on the other side of Reagan. There you and Mommy and Mima are. There's Mommy and Mima. Figuring out which way they want to go. We had a plan for the sites we wanted to see, the things we wanted to do. Right at the end of the school year, not peak tourist season, so it wasn't too busy with tourists. Things weren't overly crowded. Kaden, this area is called the National Mall. Not a mall like a store, but a mall like a big open area. So, so this, this building straight ahead is part of the Smithsonian. Right up there, that 
that building is part of the Smithsonian as well. And the National Mall goes all the way from the U.S. Capitol building at one end to the Washington Monument and then continues on to the Lincoln Memorial. And Caden, there are all sorts of things that happen down here. Concerts, events, fireworks. People will come out here playing kickball, frisbee, volleyball, all sorts of sports. When I worked down here, I used to run around this National Mall all the time. And there we are, continuing on down toward the Washington Monument. Now that we've gotten a little bit of a break, it had rained the day before, so there were mud puddles around the area, but we were able to avoid them, not walk through the mud. It was a pleasant day. There's a nice shot of the Washington Monument. There it is as we're getting closer to it. And you see the Lincoln Memorial off in the distance. We'll get there shortly. And then off in that direction, you see the top of the White House. We'll get there later as well. Here we are up close to the Washington Monument. What was your impression of the Washington Monument? It was tall. <laughs> yeah, look at it going up, up, up into the sky. You can't even see the top triangle of it. No, not from where we were standing. Nice white clouds, blue background in the sky. There you and mommy are going up. You're jumping up, going back for a running start. Yeah, I mean, I kind of got fall. You're running fast. How high will you get? <laughs> Good job. There it is, up close again. Looking at it going up into the sky. You don't realize from seeing it in pictures and on TV how big it is. Mommy's pointing out the Capitol building down there. And then a photo of you leaning against the Washington Monument, running up to it outstretched arms on it. Now you're facing the camera with your back to the monument as we get ready to move on. And then you and mommy standing right up against it, looking up. That completed our first day in Washington, D.C. Here we are on the escalator heading back down. Ready for the metro ride home. As always, you wanted to go on ahead. Caden, go forward a few steps if you're going to be ahead of her. And you're off the escalator. Hang on. Now, if we did this right, we have just enough money on our cards to get us home, so. My ID is right here, silver line. Kaden, you go through the gate on the left. Yeah, so put it in and go through. Go through. 
There you go. Perfect. It became an expert at using the retro turnstile. I like the ones where it just spins. Like you go in and then it spins. So we want silver line to Ashburn. Yep. No, we're on the right side. We're on the right side. The train will be going that way. Silver line to Ashford. That's what we're looking for. Kaden, how many minutes until the... Sil Keep walking forward. Kaden, how many minutes until the silver line to Ashburn arrives? Look at that sign straight ahead when it comes back on. Don't walk on those bumps, Kaden. That means you're getting too close to the edge. It'll come back up in a minute. There it is, Kaden. How many minutes? Uh, one minute. Right, and stop there. Go to the wall. And Kaden, you can also tell that a train is arriving because these lights will start blinking right here. No, here. Yeah, here. Are it means the train's coming. It means everybody should get back. Stay back. And the, si back. And the sign says arriving, Kaden. And look, it says, Caden, up on the sign, it says there are eight cars in our train. Does it say Ashburn on the train? Yeah. That's our train. Let people off and then get on. Find one facing the way you want. The train's going to our right. There you are getting your window seat. You're on doing a 360 shot of us on the train. As we're heading back to Virginia, and there's Mommy, Mima, and you. And then at the Metro train station, we saw a restaurant, Matchbox. There's our dinner, your pizza. How was that pizza? Oh, it was delicious. And the fries, delicious as well. And there's some pizza for Mommy. And some pizza for Papa. And made me off. Well, You're right, she it is hot. Right? Fish and chips. And there's yeah, her meal. Yes, yeah, so it was good food. It's good. At a decent price. And then the next day we drove into D.C. for day two of sightseeing. Kaden, looking city. at where we're going, where do you think the best place to see the White House is? Yes, where the people are. Yes. <laughs> I was pointing out the fact that there was a crowd gathered up ahead there, and that's the best viewing spot to see the White House, which was our first stop on day two. We wanted to get as close as we could to get a good view of the White House. Now we're approaching the best viewing area. And there is the White House off in the distance. Yeah, go ahead, find a place on the fence. Kaden, go up to the fence. Anyone else who wants to? Kaden, Kai, what was your impression of the White House? It was white. <laughs> well, yes, it is white. Were you impressed by it? Yeah. They shouldn't make it black. Black and white.
a different color. There's a nice photo of the White House. There you and I are standing there looking at it. Camera noise. And a nice shot of us. Yeah, just look slightly. Good job. And this marker where we were standing indicates it's the point for the measurement of distances from Washington on highways of the United States. And on top of it is a compass rose. Huzzah. Huzzah. Oh, look, a talking statue. I wonder what it says. Huzzah. Oh, very cool. Huzzah. I think it poses in different poses. Huzzah. We encountered that talking statue that went running off into the distance. Here we are walking on the sidewalk next to the reflecting pool. The day before we had gone as far as the Washington Monument. Now we're on the other side of that, headed towards the Lincoln Memorial, which you can see off in the distance there. That's where we are headed at this point on our sightseeing journey. But before we went to the Lincoln Memorial, we saw that there were some ducks enjoying the water of the pool here. Yes. And here we are going in for a don't, closer look at don't them. Don't disturb them. You can get a little closer. Okay, that's close enough. Hi, baby ducks. Hi, baby ducks. And there's one big mama. I don't think they like being on screen. Like mama, what is that? One open. I think one yawn. I think that's the dad. I think you're right. Bye, kids. Um, yeah. uh, I'm gonna go um, and uh, get us dinner. Nice. Head back to mommy. I think they're gonna have fish and chips. What did you think of the ducks? They were so adorable. Yeah, they were. And then we moved on, made our way down to the Lincoln Memorial. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm on the water. Fire. Here we're posing for a photo op facing the Washington Monument. You come. I got one, but you get more. Caden, stay. Mima's gonna get some more. Well, if I'm a little off, you can see the Capitol. I don't. I don't care. Looks like they put in a wheelchair ramp or As always you wanted to go on ahead. Hey, I'm gonna go to a library. They're doing a lot of construction at the Lincoln Memorial. They put in that wheelchair ramp off to the left. There's a lot of construction noises going on in the background. And this sign talks about it. I didn't read the whole sign. I think it talked about doing a visitor center in the basement area, if I'm not mistaken. Or redoing the visitor center if there was one. There you go, climbing the steps. Did you know what we were going to see once we got inside? Have you no. seen pictures of it? No. 
Did they have a basement? There's an area in the building down below, and they're working on it now. You hear all that construction noise. Yeah, I thought they were. Go closer. And there is Abraham Lincoln sitting in the chair. Very impressive. Very stately. What was your impression of the statue? He was tall. <laughs> yes, it's a big statue. He was a tall man and it's a big statue. They're coming up the ramp. Caden, over here. And there you go, back down the ramp. You greet Mommy and Mima. I guess it wasn't back down the ramp since we had gone up the steps. Hello. And there you were able to escort them up to the memorial. of noise going on in the background but still it wasn't peak tourist season so this wasn't very crowded and there you and mommy are posing in front of the statue and you and me and then there is abraham lincoln and then when you go off to the left side as you face the statue there is an inscription on the wall. This is a famous speech that Abraham Lincoln gave. It's called the Gettysburg Address. I'll focus the camera here for a bit so that anyone who wants to read it can read it. Not that you can't find it online at your leisure. But still, I think it's impressive to see it written out on the memorial itself. Now let's go around to the other side. There's another inscription on the opposite wall. I'm working my way through the light tourist crowd. And on this wall is address that Abraham Lincoln gave at his second presidential inauguration. So the second inaugural speech that he gave. I'll focus the camera on it for a bit as well, but not quite as long. Again, a very famous speech that you can find online interested in reading it in its entirety. Still, I find it impressive to see it written out on the wall. Now heading back around again, getting ready to get back together with you and Mommy and Mima. 
There's a line of people here on their way in to see the statue and working my way through all of them. There you see off in the distance the Washington Monument. And there you go, running down the ramp. You and I walked up the stairs and we went down the ramp. Mommy and Mima walked up the ramp and they're going down the stairs. You enjoy our visit to the Lincoln Memorial? Yeah, I liked it. It was impressive. Yeah. I always enjoy going there when we're in Washington, D.C. Keep going. It was a, it was a big building and a medium statue. Yeah. Um, the Vietnam wall over that way, yes. It's further over. Yeah, that we came over. That's the Korean, that's the, the statues of the Korean War Memorial. And then the Vietnam Wall on the other side. We had stopped at a vendor cart. You got a bomb pop. You're enjoying it there in the Washington heat. If you start getting drippy, let me know. I've got wipes. I also got all over my hands. Yeah. It's going to start melting, though. Yeah. How is it? All the flavors are so good. Now. Yeah, that's good. You were enjoying it. It wasn't quite as warm as the day before, but it was still warm. And there you are, enjoying it. And there's your mouth red from the bomb pop. Off in the distance, we saw the Park Place Horse Stables. That's the building there that we could see as we were walking from the Lincoln Memorial back toward the Washington Monument. You see a couple of their horses. Beautiful animals. Nice building. I don't know when it was built. It wasn't there the last time we were in D.C., so it's got to be fairly new. The horses were cute. They were. Yeah, their stables used to be a little bit further away from that area. Here we are at the World War II Memorial. This was built and finished in 2004. Here we are on the side of the Lincoln Memorial. Coming around to the side. This World War II Memorial has areas that highlight the various states and territories that participated in World War II. And it has sections that highlight the Atlantic Theater of War and the Pacific Theater of War. Here you see some of the states as I'm walking past them. You see the pool in the center, the fountain with all of the water flowing in the middle. I remember when this part of the National Mall had a separate smaller pond or pool. You got the long reflecting pool as you approach the Lincoln Memorial. And then this area had a smaller, I believe it was a rainbow pool. There's a lot of grass around it. And I remember when they broke ground for construction of this memorial. It took many years to plan, design, get approval for, and build the memorial. But it's become a highlight of many people's visits to our nation's capital. As we're coming around here on this side of it, this is on the side of this memorial that is on the Washington Monument side. Coming around now for the front section of it. You see many people walking around as well. at the 
various parts of this World War II memorial. Now going back around that same side, coming down the opposite side. Looking at all of the focus areas on this side. Again, it was a beautiful day. You remember what you were doing, Kate and Kai, while I was walking around taking this video? I think I was um, at the pool, just like chillaxing, waiting for you. I believe you were as well. I believe you and Mima and Mommy were enjoying the water. Mm -hmm getting closer to the pool or fountain area of it. And I went around, admired the memorial, looked at all of it completely around. See all the various states again as I'm walking past them. Were you cooling off at that point? No, I was just gonna just like chilling. And I put my hand in the bottle, but like not my feet on even. I believe the sign said it was okay to put your feet in the water, if I recall. And then now back around, this is on the side of the Lincoln Memorial, you see off in the distance. Coming around now to the center of this side. And now at this point, I've done a full 360 on the outside of the memorial. Coming down to where it's aligned with the Washington Monument. Now this is the inner side, including the arc on the inside. Coming around now, wall to my right. As I was looking at the memorial, you can hear the water flowing in the background. A closer look and all of the sprays from the fountain and then off in the distance you can see the section that focuses on the Atlantic theater of war and then on the opposite side you see one that's focusing on the Pacific theater of war in a fitting memorial to commemorate World War II and the sacrifices made in that war. You can see the Washington Monument again off in the distance. Nice shot of the World War II Memorial in the fountain and then off in the distance there as you were saying Kate and Kai, there are you and Mom taking a break from our sightseeing. And then taking a few last looks at parts of this memorial. Here's another section of it that commemorates the people who fought in World War II. Here we mark the price of okay, freedom. Kate, and what are we waiting for? The president. Which president? Joe Biden. Nice. Okay. He's definitely coming this way. Uh, yeah. You think? 
everything walked up. Now this was the final highlight yeah, of our sightseeing trip. Yeah, they do. I had checked online for the President's Daily Schedule. You gotta schedule. keep them secure, safe and secure. And I had noticed that he was scheduled to be traveling back to the White House. And right about the time I see we some cars were out. Coming up the road. Oh yeah. Right at the intersection by the Washington Monument. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'd say that's an advanced team because yep, the fourth. motorcade won't stop. There sure are. Stood there watching them get in position, get all of the security locked down for the president's travel. Here comes the chopper. Oh yeah, he's on the move. Yeah, they they'll have areas in the vehicle for the, the police dogs. Lots of security, wasn't there, Caden? Yeah. It was impressive. It was. This was your first opportunity to have a trip to Washington, D.C. You got to see the president's <laughs> yeah, motorcade. You knew it should be coming any minute. You had seen the helicopters. And all the police and security officers. Oh yeah, I see it. There's the security helicopter again. You're fine right there. He's talking to them. I see motorcycles. What'd you think, Kaden? Oh, the bicycle man. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring it up the rear. Police bike. <laughs> That's the rear. Kaden, what'd you think of the presidential motorcade? That was cool. That was cool.